Good afternoon. Welcome to the Applicant Orientation Webinar for the City of Coronado FY 2020-21 Community Grant Program. My name is Dominique Albrecht and I'm joined by Senior Management Analyst for Arts and Culture, Kelly Purvis. Thank you for joining us today. Before we begin, I'd like to go over a few logistical items. If you have any questions, please submit them directly via the Q&A chat box. We will collect the questions and answer them at the conclusion of the webinar. A recording of today's webinar will be available and posted on the City's Community Grant webpage by the end of the week. If you would like to stay up to date on grant program information, please sign up to receive notification emails at www.coronado.ca.us backslash community grants. The goal of today's webinar is to walk through the revised Community Grant Program documents. We will review important dates, application, and submission requirements, and provide information on how to get into contact with staff for technical assistance. Please note, at this time, we will not be able to provide details on the amount or method of funding allocations. As of right now, per Council Policy Number 28, funding is set at 1.65% of general fund revenues for FY 2020-21, estimated at approximately $788,000. The funding amount will be confirmed by the Council at their annual budget meeting in June. Also, due to impacts from the COVID-19 pandemic, we are in the process of recruiting independent field readers and facilitating review via a remote process. We will go over evaluation and scoring for each community element using the criteria as approved by the Council. Let's get started. Applications will be due by 5 p.m. on May 15, 2020. Late submissions may not be considered. Email timestamps will be used to certify the time of submission. As noted, the Council is tentatively scheduled to consider the fiscal year 2021 budget at their June 2nd Council meeting. The Cultural Arts Commission will review the Arts and Culture Community Element applications and create a formal recommendation to the Council. Grant recommendations will be considered and funds awarded after the budget is adopted, currently scheduled for the July 21st meeting. Staff will work on sending grant agreements out to funded organizations by July 24th. As the city responds to the impacts of the COVID-19 pandemic, some dates are subject to change. The mailing list is the best way to be notified of changes. Updates will also be posted on the community grant webpage. There are two important documents in the grant process. Both can be found on the community grant program webpage. First, the grant program document provides details on the current cycle program. This document should be referenced during the application, guides the process and what information organize, organizations should provide. The document starts out with a mission statement and the expected funding. Please note, grant awards above $50,000 are separated and dispersed in two increments, generally July and January, depending on when organizations return their agreements. The program documents also contain the eligibility requirements for community grants. To be eligible for funding, organizations must be based in and or benefit Coronado residents. They must be a registered nonprofit and contribute to at least one of the community elements, economic development, social services, community pride, sense of place, or arts and culture. The Council recognizes five types of grants. The program document includes a list of each one, as well as a description and any restrictions on the use of funds. Applicants are instructed to select one grant type. The program documents also outline each community element, the goals, evaluation criteria, and scoring. Submission instructions can be found on page 5, and we will discuss in further detail later in the presentation. The final page includes a grant program schedule and required reporting information. Once a grant is awarded, the following reports must be submitted to maintain eligibility. For grant awards up to $50,000, an annual report from July 1 to June 30. For grant awards 50000 and above, a mid-year report from July 1 through December 30th and an annual report from July 1 through June 30th. All reports are due within 15 days of the end of the reporting period. Please note, any organization receiving grant funding may be subject to an Agreed Upon Procedures Audit, or AUP, at the City's discretion. If an organization receives more than $150,000 in total grants, an audit must be submitted to the City within six months of the close of the organization's fiscal year. The second document is the Community Grant Application. This year, the application has changed. It is now a PDF fillable form. Adobe Acrobat is required to complete the form. Please do not print out and fill by hand, as we will be exporting the data into an Excel file. 
The narrative portion of the application is four pages long with the font set at 12 point times New Roman. Along with the required financial and organizational attachments, respondents may also attach up to three pages of supplemental material, including graphs, charts, pictures, and links to videos. Please do not attach actual videos or large files as they may not make it through the system. We are now going to walk through the actual application, but before we do that, a couple of important notes to start. In the narrative section, please remember to note which evaluation category you are responding to. For example, if you're responding to activity alignment, please write activity alignment and then begin your response. Follow with the next category and so on. Failure to note the category may result in a loss of points as it makes it difficult to know what you are responding to. Along with the application, organizations will submit several attachments to create a complete submission package. The following are required for every application. You, your most recently submitted IRS Form 990 and past three years of financial statements. If an organization is new and does not yet have all of these items, please submit what's available and note why in the organizational and financial capacity portion of the response. Applicants also need to complete and submit the budget template found on page 7. Please use the included form. If you need additional items, contact staff. The second set of attachments only apply to those organizations with employees. Organizations with employees should attach the names and a brief biography for the top three employees within the organization. The best way to do this is by putting all of them on a single Word document. Please also attach your employee personnel policy, which should also include language regarding anti-discrimination, equal employment opportunity policies. Additionally, organizations should also attach their anti-nepotism policy. If it's included in the personnel policy, please copy and attach as a separate file. Finally, if an organization has employees and property, please attach a policy governing your disposition of surplus personal property policy. None of these policies need to be lengthy. However, these are standard policies for organizations and will be used to confirm organizational capacity. An internet search can provide good examples and templates. Now, let's go through the application. The grant application is seven pages long with four pages for the narrative response. A single application is required for each program, activity, or event. If you hover over a response box, a tooltip will pop up to provide information on how to respond. You will start by selecting the community element you would like your application to be considered under. Note, staff will not be moving application types once an organization selects the community element for their program. Applications should fill out their organizational information in the first section. The contact name should be the person to answer questions on the organization's application. The organization name only needs to be entered once. It will repeat across all of the pages as needed. What was the applicant's total expenditure budget in the most recent fiscal year? Here, please provide the organization's expenditure budget in total, not just for programs funded by city grants. Did the applicant receive a grant or grants from Coronado last fiscal year? Please indicate if you received a grant in the fiscal prior fiscal year. If yes, what was the total value of the grants awarded? Next, please provide the amount of the grant awarded. Include the grant amounts received across all the programs submitted. For example, if you received a $5,000 grant in economic development and then $10,000 in community pride sense of place, the total here would be $15,000. If yes, what was or were the grants used for? Please indicate generally what the grants were used for. For example, research, counseling service, a special event, etc. If yes, how much grant funding is remaining from last year? If there is grant funding remaining from the year before, please provide the amount across all grants received. If significant funding is remaining, it would be a good practice to address why in organizational and financial capacity. What is the total amount of grant funding for fiscal year 2021 requested by your organization from Coronado? Finally, please provide the total amount of grant funding you're requested by your organization across all community elements and including all programs. The amount requested for this fiscal year will be submitted via the program budget. For page two, please note again that a separate application is required for each program. The purpose of the community grant program is to fund specific definable activities. Please don't submit the organization as the program for blanket funding. The program name will repeat across each of the pages and only needs to be input one time. Moving down, select the grant type that most closely aligns with what you're submitting. It's important to note the restrictions. 
grant funds cannot account for more than 50% of an event's cost. If you were awarded seed money in a previous year to start an organization, the grant type requires a reduced request in the next funding cycle. Staff will be reviewing for compliance. Item number three governs the narrative response. For this section, reference the program documents and each community element to determine how to respond. The type is set at 12 point times New Roman font and responses are limited to four pages. And again, please remember to indicate the evaluation category you are responding to and then write the narrative. In the next four pages, organizations will respond to the evaluation category for the community element they are submitting their program, activity, or event under. As indicated previously, applicants can also submit up to three pages of additional information in support of their narrative. Please do not include responses to the evaluation cr criteria within the supplemental information. However, please feel free to include charts, graphs, pictures, links to videos, etc. The best way to do this is to put everything applicable into a Word document. Do not submit large files, videos, or executable files. The city's email system may kick it back or mark the items as spam. The final page is the proposed budget. The total budget amount should be the funding your organization is requesting from the community grant program. Please be mindful of the grant type restrictions applicable to your application. In the list of expense column, roll up major categories like supplies, personnel, etc. Provide details on the expenditure in the description column. Finally, indicate the amount to be spent. The total will be calculated automatically in the last row. Once your application is complete, save a copy for your records by hitting the Save button. When saving, at the end of the file name, include the application, the organization's name, and the program's name. For example, Coronado Community Grant Application, Fiscal Year 2020-21, ABC Foundation underscore Spring Fair. You can also print the application from this page for your records. Conduct a final review of your application. If the required buttons, those outlined in red, are not completed, you will get an error message. Submit the application via email by hitting the green Submit button. An email will pop up addressed to communitygrants at coronado.ca.us along with your application already attached. At this time, please also attach to the email any other required attachments, the IRS Form 990, financial statements, and item policies required for organization with employees. Also, you may include supplemental information you would like to provide. To summarize, use the online application form as provided. Responses are limited to four pages. Access to Adobe is required. An application is required for each distinct program, activity, or event. Up to three pages of supplemental information, charts, pictures, links to videos, etc., can be submitted. Attached to the application email. Note, do not include narrative responses in the supplemental material or include .exe executable or large files. You will receive a personal confirmation within 24 hours after your application is received. If you don't receive a confirmation, please follow up with staff. Please save a copy of your application for your records. Now we're going to briefly walk through the evaluation criteria and scoring. The evaluation criteria has been available for public viewing for a few months now, so we won't spend too much time discussing it. However, we did want to provide some further detail on response expectations. Let's start with organizational and financial capacity, an evaluation category that exists across all four community elements. For your convenience, the next series of slides provides information on each evaluation category, area of focus, and response expectations for all of the community elements and corresponding evaluation criteria. This should support you in crafting your response to the narrative portion of the application. Beginning with the evaluation categories for economic development, as you'll see on the left, we have the evaluation categories as approved point system by the council. And then also the area of focus underneath economic development. On the right hand side, you'll find some more detailed information on response expectations for each category. For example, under activity alignment, which is also consistent across all of the categories, you'll see project is clearly described and project impacts are clearly linked to at least one goal with quantitative and qualitative data. In that instance, the response expectation is that the organization will use those two bullet points while responding to the degree to which the proposed activity achieves at least one or more of the goals of the Economic Development Grant Program, and so on. 
Under the social services community element, a highlighted evaluation criteria is past performance. Here, in the area of focus, you'll see quality of provided data demonstrating the successful provision of social services to the proposed population, and the response expectation as evidence is provided to show that the organization has a successful track record of producing projects of similar scale and impact. Under community pride sense of place, you'll see some repeated evaluation criteria such as activity alignment and past performance, but under this community element, you'll also see collaboration which is the degree to which the organization will partner with other Coronado-based groups to broaden the community benefit. Here, the response expectation is that the organization in their narrative will provide evidence to show that the organization has reached out to other local organizations to achieve the program goals. Finally, under arts and culture, you'll notice that there are four categories, evaluation categories. Specifically, let's look at artistic integrity with 20 points. Artistic quality is uniformly high and shows significant creativity or originality with outstanding artistic personnel. A expected response would be evidence is provided to show excellence in artistic quality by the or organization that's applying, which would include awards and or audience reviews. Independent field readers will review all submitted material and score using a scale from a strong response to a weak response. The points awarded will be at their discretion based on the narrative submitted. Applications that do not respond to an evaluation category will receive no points. This concludes the presentation portion of the webinar. As always, you can find all the documents, schedule, and more at www.coronado.ca.us forward slash community grants. Please feel free to contact us with questions. For arts and culture, please reach out to me. For all other programs, please contact Dominique Albrecht. Thanks so much for joining us today. Submit your questions and we'll go through and answer.